along the edges of the Mississippi River floodplain near Dupo, Illinois. The Illinois Department of Transportation, or IDOT, is building a new highway interchange to ease traffic on and off Interstate Highway 255. Per federal law, the construction project must consider potential impacts to cultural sites, including those of the pre-contact era, which began more than 13,000 years ago at the end of the Ice Age and lasted until the colonial French and English arrived in the 16 and 1700s. Because of these laws, tribes who claim this part of Illinois as their homeland are consulted, and staff archaeologists of the Illinois State Archaeological Survey, or ISAS, are called in to assess the area. Archaeologists from ISAS are investigating the remains of several indigenous sites that were home to people who lived during the Middle Woodland Era, some 2,000 years ago, and the Mississippian Era, 900 years ago. The Middle Woodland Era was a time of gardeners and hunters. People hunted local wildlife, such as deer, and grew crops in their gardens, including squash and sunflowers. In contrast to the short-term, seasonal, Middle Woodland settlements, the later Mississippian people built a city, Cahokia or Cahokia Mounds, 13 miles to the northeast of Dupo. The Mississippian people who lived outside the city, as at Dupo, were farmers. They grew many of the same plants as their Middle Woodland predecessors, but the Mississippians also grew corn in large open fields. The Mississippians also fished and hunted local wildlife for their city and for themselves. Most of the Middle Woodland and Mississippian cultural remains being documented at Dupo are buried beneath a foot or more of thick sediment, called alluvium, that washed off the nearby bluffs for the last 2,000 years. During that time, these sediments spread out, fan-like, at the base of the bluffs. Uncovering the cultural remains beneath the resulting alluvial fans is labor-intensive. Heavy machinery is used to remove the alluvium, allowing archaeologists specializing in both geomorphology and village settlements to examine the buried living surfaces. Since the Middle Woodland remains are older, they are found in the deepest layers. The artifacts from those layers attest to the presence of people who lived in small settlements consisting of no more than a few families. Their houses were probably simple above-ground shelters. They stored their food from season to season in pits dug below the ground surface. Evidence of the more permanent houses and larger storage pits of the later Mississippian farmers is also being uncovered. The remains of each house and pit are a unique time capsule that must be carefully identified, mapped, and cataloged. The ways in which they clustered together can reveal how many people lived here and what daily life was like. Similarly, the ways in which storage pits and house floors were filled up and covered over after they were no longer in use can reveal information about whether or not people lived nearby. Sometimes, the pits or house basins were washed shut by the forces of nature after the people left the location. The lowest levels were deposited in one season, and the upper levels deposited a full season or more later. Once these investigations are finished, we will have gained much more insight into the Middle Woodland and Mississippian time periods. When this information is compared to data collected from other sites in the region, it will provide a clearer picture of what daily life might have been like for the indigenous people of pre-contact Southern Illinois. Knowing that is of value to all of us.